Holston United Methodist and guests gathered on April 18th to celebrate the dedication of the 18th century Thomas Amy House as a United Methodist historical site. This occasion marked the 225th anniversary of the four visits to Amy House in 1790 by Bishop Francis Asbury and his appointed traveling companion, the Reverend Richard Watco. On behalf of the Commission on Archives and History of Holston, I'm James Stout, the Chair, and we'd like to welcome you to this, a special occasion, as we dedicate another of our historic sites, this, the Ami House, and we have with us Bishop Asbury and his sidekick, Richard Watcote. The day's events included actors playing their roles around a colonial era campsite, complete with demonstrations of cooking, music, and other skill sets of that time. Captain Thomas Amy built the house near Rogersville, Tennessee in the early 1780s on land he had been granted for his participation in the Revolutionary War. He was quite an entrepreneur. First thing he did was he started his enterprise. They probably lived in a tent while he was building the dam and the mill and getting his business going. That's how they did it. But he imported Thomas Harlan, who was a, uh, a Pennsylvania Dutch architect stonemason. He imported him to come and design and build the dam, the mill, and the house. Thomas Amy descendants have held the land all through the years. The present owners are Jake and Wendy Jacobs. Wendy Jacobs is a fifth great granddaughter of Thomas Amy. In 1790, in the spring of the year, in April and May, Asbury and Watcote came here four times. And we are celebrating that, memorializing that, dedicating this house, not because Asbury slept here, because he slept at a lot of places, but because he was on a critical mission on the frontier. Can you imagine all the obstacles that he would have faced to get here? Uh, poor roads, uh, streams and lakes and rivers to cross, no interstates. I put 25,000 miles a year on my automobile. This man traveled 265,000 miles in 41 years in ministry. Do the math on that and you'll believe like me that it is with great dogged determination that our foremothers and forefathers in Methodist tradition wanted to spread a message. We rejoice in the pioneer vision of Thomas Ami, who built these stately walls as a haven in the wilderness. Lord, bless this house, we pray. We joyfully recognize the Thomas Ami house as historic site number 498. We present and dedicate this plaque to commemorate this site and the people and events associated with it and to identify it for future generations. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen.